Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again, and tonight I'm taking a look at installing Skype. Skype, as you probably well know, is the uh, very popular internet telephony client. So you can reach out and talk and chat and video conference with loved ones across the world over the internet for nothing. For free. It's a great application. It got picked up by Microsoft uh, not too long ago. And... Uh, so you may need to set up a Microsoft account to use it, which for me was the hardest part of the install setting of the Microsoft account. So what we do, we go to Skype.com and you click on the Downloads button. You're going to click Computer and you're going to see Skype for Linux. And you're going to choose your distribution. Now with Antix, you're going to want Debian 7 and you'll notice it says Multi-Arch. What Multi-Arch means is they're, they're producing one package that's good for 32-bit and 64-bit except it's really a 32-bit application. They should just say this. It's going to download the package. I've already downloaded it. It's a pretty fast download on broadband connection. There's a couple of ways to install it, but I'm going to go the GDB root uh, as soon as I remember where it's at. System Tools, I think. GDB Package Installer. And it's going to be file and open, and I've actually had it here lately. Click open. And it's going to tell you it requires the installation of four packages. And you can see what they are nothing major, a couple plugins, a couple lip sound packages, a couple QT packages. You get a nice little description, you get the details of, of the version numbers and everything, and then what files are included if you're into that kind of thing. Personal favorite the big install button. Root password because we're making system changes and it's going to install. Now it, in this case we have to download the dependencies which is a nice way thing of using GDB instead of running dpackage from the command line. In this case the libraries are very small and my internet connection is very fast so it was a quick download. So you close out of here, close out of GDB and then we're able we're going to be ready to start our Skype. Now, after installing packages, you need to run update menu. It's not going to be in there by default. It's not here. Yes, it, it, it's not here. You hit update menu. And then applications, internet, and Skype. And it is installed. You're going to have to uh, agree to a terms of use. That's fine. And there you are. So, actually, I have to sign in with a Microsoft account. Like I said, this was the hardest part for me, um, was just having a Skype account didn't seem to work. Uh, I'm going to assume that's due to the Microsoft purchase, and that's uh, anybody that makes a new Skype account is going to have to be a Microsoft one. And there we are. You can't hear it, but I do have audio. And uh, seems to be working well. I actually played with this earlier. I used the Echo set sound service, and echoing was worked just as you would expect. So for tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to annex.mepis.org or throw up a post at annex.freeforms.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.